Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another NIFScope tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to work with door animations and also uh, sound on particular NIFs. So in order to do this, I need to go into the creation kit and find a good example, which I've already gone ahead and done. So let's say you've got this nice door here from Winterhold. It's technically a load door. Uh, most load doors will tend to have a sort of black plane behind them. Uh, meaning that when they do slightly open you don't see anything behind but in this particular case it may be attaching to a mesh that's already got that attached to it and it's not on the actual door so there are other examples where you may find this is actually quite a nice door to not only just use for a load door but you may want to use it as just a general door that opens as long as it's got another side to it which in this case it does have uh, so what you can do is you can edit this thing uh, so that these doors will open as much as you want them to so you can just extend how far they come out so I'm going to show you how to do that now also these do have um, sounds attached to them uh, you'll see that this has DRS wood double light O2 open and also close this is attached in the creation kit so it can either be done in the creation kit or in some cases not this door particular but in other ones uh, you'll have a section where it sort of states a particular sound file directory that it uses for the door to open and close so you don't have to state it in here. So let's go into NIFScope and get started. So the way that I'm going to do this is as anyone that wants to mess with meshes and textures and whatnot in NIFScope should have, you are going to want to unpack the BSAs for Skyrim uh, that contain all of the resources. Now if I go into my Skyrim directory uh, you'll see here I have a folder called LE Unpacked where I have mods and vanilla and this is where I unpack any mods or I unpack any of the vanilla game assets uh, using uh, BSA Opt which is a really good program. Uh, if you need to know how to do that stuff I'll put a video up top there. Um, but essentially I've got all the meshes that I need here so all I need is the names of the meshes to go ahead and search within Windows. So the way I do that is obviously if I go into the creation kit find the door or mesh that I want and I just copy the end bit so here it's Winterhold L door 01 NIF I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go into here and I'm just going to search for that in all of the unpacked meshes that I have. I'm going to double click on that so that's just opening on my other screen. Um, so I've got the door here and you have a nice little animation bar at the top here. I'm using NIFScope 2 uh, Dev 7 uh, which is the latest version at the time of this video I do believe. Um, there may or may not be later versions. Uh, but I also make sure that I use the legacy version of NIFScope, not the one that's intended for special edition. Otherwise, a lot of this may be very, very different. So the easiest way to do things is to just edit the legacy version and then get it converted uh, using a, another video I'll put at the top there uh, for converting your mods to Skyrim Special Edition. It's just easy to work with the old stuff and port it across quicker. Easier, not as much trouble. And you'd have to relearn how to get things to work. Um, so what I've got here, I've got two doors on this and on this mesh you'll find like I say you've got an animation section and if you move this across it's over a 0.6 of a cent second uh, period and you've got open you've got close so you can see the animation for both open and close and you'll have a NI controller manager over here so we just want to expand that and you'll have a load of different stuff that starts dropping down in this tree and you've got two things or oh, is it one or is it two two of them two that you want to keep an eye on so you've got a night controller sequence um you've got two of them you've got one that has the name of open and one that has the name of close and that corresponds with these two different controllers options that we've got at the top so we're going to go to open first and i'm just going to expand that and you'll see that you have night text key extra data in here under one of the text keys there would be a third one if this had some sound attached to it and that would just be pointing right at the directory of the sound so if you've got something that you want to check or uh, if the sounds on the NIF or you want to change it you can have a look in there and see if it's got one and you can just redirect it to a completely different sound one of your own or another one from the game itself if you so wish so I just want to mention that but we want to mainly get these doors to open fully rather than only part way so we can use them as a full-on door rather than just a load door. 
Now, there may be a version of this door already there that does that, but this is just for argument's sake and just to give you a good example of how to do this. Uh, there'll be different doors, different situations where you might want to do this stuff. So we have under the first Nye controller sequence, I'll ignore the other one because, like I say, we've got one for each. Uh, you've got the Nye transform interpolator, and you've got two of them, and this is for one door and this is for another door. So you've got a Nye controller sequence, for the open and close animations and in each of those you've got two night transform interpolators one for the left and one for the right door now the way that you're going to know which is which is you're just going to mess with them and essentially see what happens so we're going to expand this and go under night transform data and under xyz rotations you want to drop that down in, in this particular mesh it might be a bit different you'll have to do a bit of hunting around but it's the third one and in here you've got keys and then you've got keys again and you need to open up the keys and you want to look for anything that stands out in terms of value so most of the values will be zero or one but the value here is zero well minus 0 0.314159 that may be different depending on what NIF uh, you're messing with but essentially this is standing out as the variable that we want to use because everything else is, is pretty rounded up it's not likely to be be the one that's making it rotate at a particular amount so what i tend to do here is if i wanted to reverse it i would just put this value in reverse if i wanted to do what we're doing here today which is make it open even further i'm going to increase the value now because this is in the negative it's not going to go upward it's going to continue to go into the negative so rather than 0 0.3 in the minus i'm going to put minus one now you won't see a change happen immediately unless you're a certain way through the sequence so i'm just now going to push this through open and before it only opened partially but now you'll see it's opening all the way to what what it what equates to sort of one full sort of um swing outward there if i want it to go more i'll just increase it so let's just do minus two now you see that's gone way too far that might be too too much uh too much swing out with than i want a <laughs> swing sorry <laughs> that's weird there we go no <laughs> um, minus one so minus one seems to be a pretty decent spot if i wanted to be picky i could make it maybe uh minus 1.6 there there we go that that looks pretty much straight um and then what we need to do is figure out where this value is for this door so that's going to be on the other nigh transform interpolator i'm going to open that one up and it should be in roughly the same location so i'm just going through rotations again and keys and the second one and you'll see this one is opposite because it's flipped the other way uh, this isn't in the negative so instead of minus 1.6 we'll just do 1.6 and in theory as you can see it changes now that has only done open so you'd need to do the same for closing if i went back to closing and did that you'll see it's only closing from the old location but if i do open it's swinging fully open so what we need to do is try and do those same values you'll find something similar under the other night controller manager so i'm just going to minimize that one down oh no not that one sorry i mean the the night controller sequence get that one sort of collapsed and then expand the other one which is close and then I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to go a bit quicker now because I know where everything is. And as you can see, we've got a very similar, if not the same value here, minus 0 0.3, do the same again, minus 1.6, and then go to the other Nye transform interpolator, Nye transform data, X, Y, Z, and then we've got the other one there as well. So lovely job, Blake. Perfect. There you go. And you can see that works for open. And now it will also work for close. So that's how you edit them. What you'd then do is obviously save as, and you would just save it wherever you want. So data, meshes, uh, in this case, start Fox 127. Just going to delete that. That's from an old tutorial or a previous one. Uh, and then uh, DF door winter hold open or whatever I want to call it and save it there. And then I could just drag and drop it into the game under doors. Um, or just do right click new for doors so i haven't saved it but i could do right click new in there or you can just drag and drop the mesh on and then you can just tweak the settings to make sure everything's uh, how you sort of want it and copy sort of these doors give it a name and so on and so forth so i'm not really going to go in game it's just a door that opens and closes it, it's pretty simple um that's how you do it and like i say 
on some meshes there may be a section for sound uh, as I showed where you can also redirect and change the sound but obviously you'd want that sound to uh, match sort of the length of time that the door opens and closes and whatnot so it can be a bit tricky but uh, that's just about it and that is just about it for another tutorial video so please let me know what you think in the comment section down below as always also be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you're not already uh, you can also check out the rest of my work over on www.darkfox127.co.uk and uh, even check out my community discord got a lot of helpful friendly people on there if you're struggling with things uh, also please do consider helping to support this channel and also my live streaming that takes place twice a week over on Patreon uh, or just over on my website in general. You'll find a section on there. So thank you all very much for watching and I will speak to you all next time.